Hey guys, how's it going? Vic with High Desert Man. And uh, just decided to use my phone today uh, because I'm not smoking anything. I just finished a cigar, which I'm going to talk about. Yeah, I'll talk about it right now. So in September, uh, September, October 2018, I was in Seattle. I'll try to remember to link to the video. Uh, I was in Seattle for business and I smoked the Punch Diablo and I hated it. It was so bad. And I really thought that the experience of being in Seattle, uh, just everything sort of contributed to that cigar being so bad. So I had a couple more. I let them sit in my humidor and just had the, uh, another one today. So that's a, a good year and a half later. And, uh, uh, I, you know, it started off really good. For the most part, just, I still think that that is not a great cigar, but it did have some really interesting flavors. Um, I got some, I, I got a lot of black licorice out at the beginning of the cigar for maybe the first third or so. There was a lot of black licorice. There was also, um, probably from later in the first third throughout the rest of the cigar, dark, dark roast espresso. And the espresso that comes to mind is the Tabanero uh, coffee from Tabanero Cigars in Ybor City. That coffee is a really good coffee for um, like a Cuban coffee uh, because it's, it's roasted to the point of being burnt essentially and by itself as just a coffee i really don't like it very much but it makes a really good cuban coffee and um, cuban coffee aside uh, i got a lot of that sort of espresso out of the cigar and then on and off again i did get some dark chocolate notes um some like bitter dark chocolate notes so i had to really really be careful with the cigar because uh, if, if I started working it, uh, I had to smoke it slow because if I smoked it any faster than I was, it kept wanting to get bitter and it was like a balancing act the whole time to keep it from getting bitter. Um, anyways, I still think the cigar is not that great, um, but I did get a lot more, uh, flavors and, and just a better experience out of it this time. So that was cool. Anyways, um. This video is going up on uh, IGTV and Instagram and all the stuff, all the stuffs, all the interwebs. Okay, so today, uh, or yesterday actually, I received my first Pravada cigar package that included Farm Rolled. So I had added Farm Rolled to my, to my subscription. And so what I got was the typical uh, box. I already unboxed them, but um, you know, just the, the typical Pravada box. My address is on that one, so I'm not going to flip it over. Um, and inside were both bags, the regular monthly subscription and the farm roll selection. And, uh, and of course, the, uh, the pamphlets about the cigars. So let's start with the regular monthly subscription, and we will get to farm roll in just a moment. So, uh, this month, I have a Lost and Found Purple Drink, aged five years. So it's an unbanded cigar, because all of the Lost and Founds that I've seen so far have been unbanded cigars. And uh, so it's safe to assume this one is as well. There's my Boveda. Um, yes, so it is an unbanded. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment. And it's actually a nice looking cigar, uh, kind of rustic, bumpy. Um, yeah, it looks good. Looks, uh, looks pretty nice. Then I got uh, Montenegro. So I did a video on the Montenegro White, which was a great cigar. Um, then I was curious about these. So I actually purchased three of these and I smoked one a few days ago, pretty strong stick. A lot of flavor, um, but it is a lot stronger than the white. So uh, I'll be interested in that one again. Um, and now I'm back up to three. <laughs> and then the other cigar, I'm kind of glad I got this one. Uh, the Back to Back Limited Edition 2019. This is from Davidoff uh, and, and Back to Back. And 
I have one more of these in my humidor. I did a review on one. And the other one, to me, it was a so-so cigar. It was, um, it, it was pretty decent, good construction, good smoke, all that. Um, but, you know, Connecticut and usually not my thing. But I've really been curious to, I've been wanting to smoke that second one and just sort of have a different experience. Um, yet then I wouldn't have any more. So now I have another one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So the last and found purple drink aged five years. Amazing cigar alert. There was a time this cigar sold for $18. In my pursuit of finding the club the rarest cigars possible, I came across this gem limited to roughly 400 sticks. I am in love with this cigar and so proud to be able to offer the experience to you guys. Only 200 lucky Pravada members will get this in their box. The rest will have to purchase it on the site while supplies last. So I wonder if he got all 400 and put 200 in the, pack, in the club and 200 uh, on the shop site uh, or what? We'll find out because Brian is going to be on the next Triple Cap show with Caesar, Rob and myself. So I'm very excited about that. Shout out to Brian Descent from Pavada Cigar Club. Um, it's got a Brazilian wrapper, Ecuadorian binder, and Nicaraguan filler. It's been aged five years. Due to licensing agreements, the band needed to be removed. Brace yourself for awesomeness with this, with this one. Rumor has it there is a leaf used in the filler that is grown right here in the U.S. The fact that he included that in this makes me wonder if it's FSG, if it's um, if it has FSG tobacco in it. I'm really curious about that. Hopefully, uh, Brian can uh, let the cat out of the bag on the show. But that's that's very cool. Uh, then he's got a thing down here about the Spirited Smoke Show. So on the Pravada Cigar Club YouTube channel, he started doing uh, the Spirited Smoke Show. If I remember correctly, it's, well, it's not a live stream. It is, um, it's a really well done video. Episode one is out and um, just go check it out. Uh, you have to go check it out. It's a really cool video. The first one was awesome. Uh, the second one, the Davidoff Zeno back-to-back -back limited, limited edition 2019. Brooklyn-based urban artist Mike Baca, 2-E-S-A, uh, 2-S-A, I think it's 2-S-A, and Fernando Romero, Ski, are part of a collective known as You Are New York, U-R-N-Y. The duo began making custom artwork for Davidoff under the Xeno Platinum portfolio. This is the 2019 version of their annual limited edition. It is a 7x52 torpedo that uses Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper over a Connecticut binder and fillers from the Dominican Republic in Nicaragua. Retails for 15 bucks. It is limited to 2,500 canisters of 12 cigars. Canisters. The canisters are pretty cool. They are round tin canisters uh, meant to look like spray, spray, paint, spray paint cans um, uh, because those guys were taggers or uh, graffiti artists or what, whatever they go by these days. Um, so that's uh, the Davidoff back-to-back. Um, -back. The third one, the Montenegro Red Label Corona, aged four and a half years, Farmer's Blend. Montenegro, the natural tobacco company. I touched on this with the White Series, but they use no chemicals, flavors, or additives in their growing, fermenting, aging, and rolling process. Take from that what you will. Uh, the whole... Uh, so the idea is that the company um, in growing their tobacco focuses on on nothing unnatural coming to the tobacco. Uh, and the whole flavored thing, um, uh, flavors or additives, uh, the backstory to that is that there's there's been rumor that some cigars are have flavors added to them. Um, uh, not necessarily infusion, but something added to the tobacco uh, to to give it notes, not a flavored cigar, but to give it specific like coffee notes or black licorice notes or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I don't I have no information on that. 
Organic and natural all the way. I was taken aback with the, the love you all showed these folks. So were they. That's how we got this. I got a call from Mr. Mora, the owner of the brand and farm. He told me he had something he thinks I would like. He explained they had a Red Series cigar that was a choice blend of the farmers on his land. They even had their favorite Vitola for the blend, the Corona. So this is a Corona. As Cuban as it gets, and one of my favorites, a favorite Vitolas as well. Like I said, I've smoked this one. It was much stronger than the white, but that's not to say it's a strong cigar. It, it, it was um, medium to full strength, um, and it was really good. I really, really enjoyed that. So that's the three cigars uh, from my monthly subscription. Uh, I was really hoping, and I probably will in my next package because uh, it seems to work out that way. Um, they have done an exclusive, Provada exclusive with Southern Draw Cigars, uh, which is very cool. The band on it is gorgeous. It looks like a Southern Draw band, um, yet it's got the full Provada logo on it, and it's just a gorgeous band. I'm really hoping, Brian... I want that in my next uh, club uh, subscription, if you don't mind. And next, we have the Farm Rolled Cigars. And uh, Farm Rolled, just, uh, if you're a member of Provada, just go log on to their website, log into your account, and um, I don't remember where you go exactly, but basically, you go to your subscriptions, and you just say, add this to my subscription. 20 bucks a month, they add it on your subscri subscription. Uh, same shipping that uh, because it comes in the same box and uh, it's all good so the idea with farm rolled if um, if you haven't already seen my video on it is farm rolled came about because Brian Provada Cigar Club has grown enough that it can now uh, purchase cigars directly from the factories and um, with by foregoing the you know the banding the branding and all that stuff and, and getting it through a through an actual um, cigar line, uh, he gets them direct and they get a much better price. Uh, and Brian had sent me two packages. One I smoked through already. The other one I've got a couple cigars left, but they've been great cigars so far. And the idea is to highlight, um, you know, without calling attention to the brand maker, you know, these, these could be, any brand, they, they might be, I don't know, they might be Ag Aganorsa Leaf brand. Aganorsa Leaf is the uh, consumer facing cigar brand of Aganorsa Farms. Um, and they were doing, t uh, growing tobacco and, and had a factory and stuff long before they came out with Aganorsa Leaf, which, which was their own brand, similar to uh, Placencia cigars. So, uh, with the farm rolled, he includes a sheet, and so there's a, there's a lot number or a, a model number or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's basically just so that you can message Brian and say, hey, I really dug lot number UDLCC 550-0220 uh, or whatever. Then there's a, a quantity, a description, and the description typically is the farm that the uh, cigar came from. Tasting notes and then miscellaneous, which is what is the best time of day to enjoy that particular cigar. And then they do a farm highlight on the bottom. Now, this is the third package I've had that has highlighted the Aroa Aladino Farms uh, in Honduras, which is uh, CLE, JRE, um, Aroa Cigars. Uh, and that stuff, and yet I don't believe that any of the cigars are actually from that factory. So the first one is the um, the first one is an undisclosed Nicaraguan six by fifty Habano. I'm guessing that's this one, uh, an undisclosed uh, Nicaragua factory. Uh, tasting notes on this are cream, baker spice, cinnamon, and coffee. And he says the afternoon is the best for that one. Um, then the next one is from Tabase, Nicaragua. That is Aganorsa Farms. Um, and it's a sun grown. Uh, okay. I'm f sun grown usually has a reddish hue to it. And 
This one almost looks like a Brazilian or Mexican San Andreas, but it does have a red hue to it. Um, they're both 6x50s. They're both Toros. Uh, so one of these is from <laughs> the Undisclosed factory and one is from the Tab S.A. Aganorsa uh, factory in Nicaragua. The third one, uh, Diadema Cigars de, Hon de Honduras. That is the newer Camacho factory that Davidoff built in 2016. It is the 5x50 Connecticut shade um, cigar. So I got to go through my notes because I, I think I'm getting a lot of repeats here. Uh, and maybe he's just buying stuff from particular... Now, I didn't get a torpedo this time. In the first two packages, the undisclosed one was a torpedo. And it, and it was a different factory, if I remember correctly. So there was a difference in that. And then... Uh, oh, Tab S.A. Nicaragua 6x50 Maduro. Okay, I, I just needed to keep reading. Now it makes sense. So the 6x50 Maduro is... Tab SA, uh, but it's a Maduro, the, the darker one. The lighter one, 6x50 uh, Nicaragua, uh, 6x50 Habano wrapper. So that takes care of the two Toros. Uh, then the Connecticut shade. So the last one, uh, whoops, I'm sorry. I screwed up again. 6x50 Maduro wrapper from N Nicaragua. The little guy, this little Robusto. This is the Tab S.A. Nicaraguan Sun Grown um, that comes out of Aganorsa Farm. So this is the Sun Grown guy. And I know that because all the others had sizes and stuff. This one didn't have a size, so that makes sense. So those are the farm rolled cigars. Um, super uh, farm rolled stuff so far, guys, has been great. The only ones I haven't smoked are the Connecticut's. Uh, I really hope I like them because now I've got three of them. And... Uh, I, I've tried to give a little more attention to Connecticut's on some of my posts, on, on some of my videos and stuff, um, just to sort of be fair and balanced, but I really don't like Connecticut's that much. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a weird thing for me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That is the, um, that is the Pravada unboxing for this month, April 2020. And uh, until the next one, stay rugged. Oh, don't forget... Uh, triple cap. So the next triple cap show is not this coming Friday. It will be the following Friday. So we had one on the 10th. So, you know, uh, what, 14 days after the 10th? That's the, the, that's the next one. The 24th? <laughs> Would that be? <laughs> if I do my math. Um, and uh, we will have Brian Descend from Pravada Cigar Club, and we will talk about Pravada Cigar Club. We'll talk about uh, some of the companies he's working with. He's, he's doing a lot of work with, like, uh, Paul Stulak, uh, who's up in Canada, if I remember correctly. Um, you know, just a lot of cool companies he's working with. And then he's got the whole farm rolled thing, so we'll get some more insight to the farm rolled. And uh, it'll be a really cool video, so check out triple cap on the 24th, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay rugged.